So you're thinking about moving to Northville, Michigan. Well, in this video, we want to give you a tour of downtown Northville, a little bit about the streets, some of the shops and restaurants, and what the vibe is here on this beautiful summer day here in downtown Northville. So we're here in downtown Northville. We're actually at the corner of Center Street and Main Street. So those collide right here in the center of town. Um, nor <laughs> so like I was saying, we're here in downtown Northville. We're at the corner of Center Street and Main Street. And one of the reasons why this is such a sought out area is several pieces, but one of the reasons why downtown and people want to be in Northville is because of its downtown area. So Center and Main are where everything's happening here in downtown. As you see behind me, the last couple of years, they've actually been closing down the streets to be able to do more restaurant vibes and be able to stroll around and stuff like that. They do music um, in the park uh, on the weekends and everything. And so the downtown area here has that, that local feel that might be changing in the future they could be switching that up a little bit as far as the potential of not doing the closing the street down however you know all these sidewalks and all these restaurants really do have a lot of patios and stuff like that so we're gonna walk around a little bit show you a couple of my favorite spots in town show you what the vibe is we're gonna do some b-roll of all the different downtown stuff here in Northville so you can kind of understand if you're thinking about moving to the area what it looks like here the pros and cons this specific town and what you're gonna get if you're thinking about moving to the area so so we'll cut to some b-roll and stuff like that so you guys can see all the different shopping in different places but a couple of my favorites are Janetti's as an example they've been here since forever um, since I was a kid and stuff like that they have a really good event space in there as well too so you see a lot of like baby showers and wedding showers and stuff like that there but there's really shop after shop after shop you know Northville dates back way to like the 1800s early 1900s a lot of these uh, um, um, shops are so they've really old architectural this is a like really cool downtown area and a really old school type of town here in Southeast Michigan. So you still have a very small town vibe, similar to a Plymouth or some other places here in Southeast Michigan, not as big as an Ann Arbor or a Detroit. However, you get a very cool feel in one of these old school towns. So let's go check out some more shops. Like I was saying, we were at this uh, corner of Center and Main a minute, a minute ago, and we're walking down Main Street here. But if you look on the map, there's a lot of different major streets here. Katie's a big one um, that's just south of here. Uh, Dunlop is just north of here. Randolph is another great street so for those of you looking for homes that want to actually be walking distance to stuff those are like your really sought out streets like Katie Dunlop um, Randolph very very important streets if you want to live and be able to walk to everything that downtown has to offer if you keep going east down Main Street here eventually gonna run into Huron which is an awesome street and then eventually Griswold which cuts all the way over to 8 Mile Road so you can take Griswold from downtown Northville all the way up to 8 Mile Road it's a really really cool part of town I think we'll get over there and show you the cider mill on that side of town as well as the winery it's right by the river and kind of in, in, in a in a lower spot of town so the architectural is a little bit different there's some more trees and vegetation and stuff like that in that area that's a really cool part of town as well too but as you can see these are some of the major streets here in downtown church is another big one um, so we'll kind of walk around and show you what the vibe is here um, in downtown Northville behind me if you walk with me Mike this is where a lot of the music and summer events and stuff like that will happen um, the clock tower is a really really old clock tower I'm not sure on the date we could look that up for you later on but this is really what you picture when you talk about downtown Northville uh, for a lot of examples you have the Marquis Theater which is a really cool old theater it's been there for a very very long time my cousin actually got married there a few years ago it was a really cool wedding in my opinion um, again it's a small town old school vibe so this park is awesome um, 160 Main's next door that's an Italian spot as well too and there's tons of restaurants you know down here um, we'll show in a minute we should keep walking Great Harvest Bread Company has fantastic bread. And then one of my favorite spots is on the corner. It's Pools Tavern, um, really good sports bar. And they have the best cheeseburger, in my opinion, in town. Pools, great cheeseburger, greasy, awesome cheeseburger with, you know, uh, uh, French fries and a cold beer. That's where you go for that one. Uh, if you continue on, there's a Starbucks on the corner and some more parks and that down Griswold, which I was just explaining. So all the way down, if you keep heading east from here, eventually you're going to run into the water wheel building, which is a really cool old building. There's a river that runs through town. And back in the day, the water wheel actually created power and electricity and stuff like that. So um, they've renovated that recently. I think it's a really cool part of town. Just 
driving down Main Street um, and eventually turns into Northville Road. It's just a beautiful scenic drive, okay? So again, the reason why it's so sought out for a lot of people is just the look of things and, and the vibe that you get in the small town feel. And it's a very community uh, driven place. A lot of people have been here for a very long time. A lot of people are moving here as well too. So there's some changes happening, some old school um, people that have been here for forever and like things a certain way and some new, new people coming to town and making things a little bit different too. So we'll talk about some of those changes further on in the video. But again, we really wanna show you just the, the general vibe here in downtown. So I'm on stage front and center, ready to talk to all the great people. No, I'm kidding. So this is a stage here in town, like you, uh, as you can see behind me, welcome to the Oren Rocks block party. They have a block party coming up. So there's a lot of cool events that happen here. Uh, behind me is Koji, which is a really good um, uh, Japanese restaurant, sushi restaurant. Uh, Trace Amigos is your Mexican grill in town. So a couple other restaurants as well too. Behind me, it's way off in the distance. We'll get over there in a minute, but um, is the Northville racetrack. So Northville Downs has been here for forever. Ever. They race horses and it was a big part of Northville for a very, very long time. Probably like a hundred years. I have no idea. At least, at least 60 years, maybe longer it's been there. Okay. And so, um, the racetrack's moving to the other side of town. They're doing some major developments in that piece of land. It's a huge parcel, lots and lots of acres. So they're going to do some condos, some mixed development, some mixed use over there. So there's going to be a lot of changes here in Norfolk. It's going to really change the landscape. So we're up on top of the hill here in town. If you keep going down this way, which is south of me and go down down the hill is the racetrack. You're going to see a lot of development there. There'll be a lot of options for new construction as well too. And so we'll show you that in a minute, but that's a huge thing here in town. There's a, there's a huge part of the changes here in Northville itself. All right, we walked a little bit further down. We're still at Main and Center. Uh, we went down Main East, and now this is Center, and this he actually heads north. So if you take Center through town, um, you continue through town, there's more bars and restaurants and different shops. There's a CVS over there, and eventually you run into a Kroger. One of my favorite spots in town is Red Dot Coffee. I always get that confused. There's a Red Hook Coffee in Detroit, several of those, also an awesome spot. So shout out to Red Hook Coffee in Detroit, but Red Dot Coffee in Northville is also one of my favorite spots. I'm a huge coffee guy, drink tons of coffee. It's one of my favorite spots around Red Dot Coffee, downtown North where you keep going down Center Street here. But just to give you some uh, locational understanding, once you take Center, you keep going through town, eventually run into Eight Mile Road, okay? Eight Mile, or known as Baseline, runs all the way from Detroit and goes all the way out through the country. Um, so eventually run into Eight Mile. If you jog east on Eight Mile or take a right, you can take Novi Road, which is right there. And then at that point, you're in Oakland County from Wayne County, okay? And you'll also be in Novi, which borders Northville. I have a video out there that talks about the differences between Northville and Novi. Go ahead and check that one out. But a lot of people looking to this area are kind of open to both options more, more often than not, if they're not already established in one city or the other. But Novi is also a great part of town. One of my favorite spots. It's not really technically Northville, but it basically is because it's so close to downtown Northville. On the other side of 8 Mile there is Guernsey's Ice Cream, okay? I also talked about Guernsey's in one of the Plymouth videos we did uh, because Burger Spot carries Guernsey's Ice Cream. Fantastic ice cream. It's been there forever. Um, my dad actually grew up with the kids there way back in the 50s and 60s. But anyway, long story short, Guernsey's Ice Cream is a huge staple here in Northville, Novi area and here in Southeast Michigan. It's sold all over the place. They exploded because it's really, really good stuff. So anyway, a Center Street runs north and south. You can take it north all the way um, only a mile or two down you're going to run into Novi and if you head south down center you keep going eventually it turns into what's called Sheldon Road which takes you all the way through Plymouth and continues on through Canton so this street although not a very busy street as far as speed and stuff like that it's 25 miles an hour through town here you can really take far all the way south and all the way north and connects you to a lot of the other local cities here and all the way to downtown Northville where we're at all right so this is one of the most important hands down one of the biggest most important features of downtown northville without a doubt bar none super important studio b you, you know why studio b is actually my cousin's place uh this is her salon right here in downtown northville she's awesome shout out bailey talbot if you ever see this video but she's really 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 good at doing hair you're walking distance she's right in the center of town center main new spot brand new she's renovated in there we did a quick b-roll shot so shout out to bailey we got to show a little bit of love to the family of course great people if you're looking for a place to get your hair done studio b right in downtown let's move on
So the garage grill behind me is a great spot. They do good lunch and dinner and stuff like that is at the corner of Main and Wing right here. So good spot, really good people. I've had the privilege of meeting the family through the years. They're really awesome people. I highly support them. So you definitely gotta check out this spot. I think back in the day, it was either a gas station or a garage. I'm pretty sure it was a gas station if I remember the story correctly of how I was told. It was a gas station back in the day and it evolved through the years. And so they kept that same vibe behind it. But I think it's a really cool place. Across the street is Northville Square, which is a big commercial building. There's a lot of different restaurants and stuff in there too. Uh, different hair salons and shops and all that stuff as well. Again, uh, Studio B is definitely the only salon to go to, but um, good good spot here. Um, up the street is the library and stuff like that. So uh, a very good part of town. It is a little bit west of right downtown. There's beautiful homes all up and down the street here. So if you continue down main or down wing, there's beautiful homes all the way uh, continuing west here. So right in, in, in downtown Norfolk, if you continue to head west, it doesn't matter what road, whether you're taking eight mile or taking uh, main street, eventually you're gonna continue on. You'll eventually run into Beck Road. And uh, we've talked about Beck Road many times in other videos. Beck Road runs north and south and takes you to 96 and 14. So if you need to get in and out of town, also you can head east down main street, eventually take seven mile, eight mile or six mile, any of those roads cut over to 270 as well too. Check out our videos on how to get around town on the different major expressways here in Southeast Michigan. But Beck Road takes you to uh, 96 or M14 and the 275 corridor is just east of here as well too. So again, one of the reasons why we're so prominent in this area, why we sell so much real estate in this area and why it's such a sought out area is because of its central location. So Northville is really right between Ann Arbor and Detroit, very close to a lot of the major expressways. So it's a very central part of town. So if a lot of people are looking to be, you know, 25 30 minutes to Detroit, 25, 30 minutes to Ann Arbor, or even if you want to go north and get out to Brighton, or you want to head, you know, uh, a little bit east and maybe get out to Royal Oak or Troy or Rochester, it's central enough where if the husband or wife or partner or whatever, you know, are working in different areas, it's very easy to shoot around town. Additionally, really, really high ranked schools. Now the reason why Northville is such a sought out community, and that's just not Northville City, but obviously Northville Township and some of the surrounding areas as well too. The footprint of Northville is pretty big. I think it's 36 square miles between the township and the city. So a lot of different varieties. We have a video out there on Northville Township as well too, which is more real estate specific of some different flavors, but you also get to see what the township looks like. Once you get a little bit outside of town here, there's a lot more acreage, you get bigger lots, there's a lot of big trees and beautiful landscaping and stuff like that too. So different varieties, depending on how close to town you wanna be, what you're looking for in a house. And again, really just the, the pros and cons of you know more country or uh, um, subdivision living compared to a downtown living. So for a lot of those reasons, Northville is awesome. Again, the garage behind me is such a great part of town and lots of beautiful real estate around here as well too. So right next to me is a parking garage here downtown. There's another one like Kitty Corner, which is right in the center of things. So uh, one thing that Norfolk has and Plymouth has and some of our little towns here compared to other areas is they actually have free parking. So the parking garage next to me is free. The one Kitty Corner is free. So a lot of people, when they want to come downtown and walk around, they don't have to deal with like finding parking and paying for parking and all that stuff, like a big city like Detroit or whatever. But uh, here in Norfolk, everything's free. It's very easy to park and get along. It's a huge value add of living in downtown Norfolk compared to some of the other communities. Okay, so as we were talking about earlier, Northville Downs is behind me. The racetrack is over here. Um, this is the, the building itself where you go in and do your gambling and all that stuff. But as you can see, it's a massive parking lot and a massive uh, space. I did a video years ago. I don't think it's on this YouTube channel, but I did a video years ago on sort of some of the options they were thinking about doing as far as the development there um, at the Northville Downs. So this is officially moving. It's been approved. It's moving over to, to Plymouth Township, one city over. We have lots of videos on Plymouth as well too for uh, considering that area but so this whole area all this acreage will look up the exact um we'll look up the exact acreage and post it right here um, but once we do that you'll understand the mass size of the project that's going to happen so this is still right downtown so Norfolk like I said dates back for years and years and years there's a lot of people that have been in Norfolk for a very long time so there's of course always mixed reviews when uh, these big changes are happening but it's a big change to Norfolk it's a big change to the community and so um, whether people are for it or against it or what have you it is happening and there's going to be some uh, interesting 
things that come of it. So there's going to be some, I think, rental options, some purchase options from a residential real estate perspective. There's going to be some commercial stuff and tons of development, that which really ties into town. So um, this is the south part of town. If you can, uh, if you continue down this street, eventually you're going to run into Seven Mile, which is a cool uh, street. Seven Mile cuts over, then runs into what's called Heinz Drive. So we've talked about Heinz Drive quite a bit too, but Heinz Drive actually runs all the way through Northville and continues down all the way to Down River actually. And so what they've done through Heinz Drive through the years is a really, really cool feature here in Southeast Michigan. They haven't developed it all the way down the street. So you can drive down the street, but on both sides are really, really nice bike uh, trails and all the way down are park after park after park after park. So being able to go do a picnic or a barbecue, what have you, there's tons of parks all the way down Heinz Drive for miles and miles. There's Frisbee golf courses and other stuff happening for your outdoor, you know, hiking and lots of different ponds and stuff. People be, you know, sometimes there's some fishing and, and, and stuff like that in those areas as well too. So Heinz Drive is really, really cool. And there's Heinz Park and different parks all the way down. So, all right, so behind me is the water wheel building now referred to as a water wheel center. Um, this is sort of like a staple of Northville in my opinion, like this picture behind me, you drive down what's called Northville Road and then it turns into Main Street. Okay, that's right here. It, it loops through town. Uh, you drive from Plymouth and eventually cuts into Main Street and you slow down in town here. But this is a really cool building for a lot of reasons. It was actually in the 1920s in Henry Ford. So here in Southeast Michigan, Ford Motor Company, the big three, GM, right? They're huge, huge things. So in the 1920s, Henry Ford came up with a new idea for power. What he did was, this is the Rouge River or part of it, the rest of it's over there, and it cuts through town. And he decided to put together this technology that would use the wheel to turn with the river flow to create electricity electricity and power. It was the first time it was ever done. Um, and so they used this to build the Model T and tractors back in the 20s, okay? So this is a really cool part of town. One of the reasons why Norfolk has been here for so long and so established in the early 1900s was because of the auto industry as a lot of things here in Southeast Michigan. So through the years, no longer making Model T's or tractors or anything. They've renovated the building multiple times. Like I said, there's a few businesses in there. You can rent out spaces in there. There's actually a really nice suite for rent right now that's available in the water wheel building. So huge staple here in Northville, some cool history that ties into Southeast Michigan, which is really why, you know, Northville exists and a lot of our other communities here in Southeast Michigan exist. It's because of the big three. It's because of uh, Ford Motor Company, the Model T, and the auto industry way back in the early 1900s. So really last cool. but not least on our list today of places I wanted to go here in downtown Northville is Parmenter's Northville Cider Mill. As you can see, since 1873, this place has been here. So in Michigan, cider mills are a very, very big part of our culture in the fall when the leaves start to turn everything's orange there's pumpkins and pumpkin spice lattes and leaves are turning and the biggest thing here in michigan and other places but definitely here in michigan is cider mills you know why because cider mill donuts only come out in the fall and are the best thing given from the universe ever of all time okay cinnamon sugar occasionally plain ones are okay but cinnamon sugar is the only way to get cider mill donuts in my opinion you get the cider fresh freshly squeezed cider, apples crush it up, they make freshly squeezed juice, and the cider mill donuts are fantastic. So Parmenters is really, really cool. They do the cider and donuts in the fall. They also have a winery here as well too, where you can come down all year round, check out the farm vibe, get the little bit of vibe going on. You know, you get the barn look and all that type of stuff. So Parmenters is a fantastic staple here in downtown Norfolk. There's beautiful homes around here. There's condos across the street. Um, you're, the other side of uh, this road right here is eight mile roads. You can get in and out of town, but Parmenters is fantastic. On Thursday nights in the summer, they actually do a Grateful Dead night, a Grateful Dead cover band. I'm a big Grateful Dead guy. Shout out to you deadheads out there if you like the Grateful Dead. Um, but Parmenters is one of my favorite cider mills in Southeast Michigan here in downtown Northville. So if this video created any value for you, if you're interested in more videos like this or have any comments of other places we should shoot or any questions, please comment below or send us a direct message. And as always, if you're looking to move to the state of Michigan or here in Southeast Michigan, reach out at any time with any questions. My name is Matt Talbot. My team and I help people just like you every single day move here to Southeast Michigan and we absolutely live for it.